There's always one. There's always one. <laughs> ah! Okay. Okay. Are you done? You're done. Okay. Hey boos, thank you so much for coming back. I feel like I always say hey boos so, so, so fast. <sighs> hey boos, thank you so much for coming back. Um, I haven't given you a favorites video in a while, so I figured I'm gonna do it. Um, there's not really a rhyme or reason. I actually don't have any hair care products in this favorites video, but I hope you keep watching because these are things that I really like and I think you may like them too. Um, Let's get started. So first up, funny story, because you know, Jenna always has to digress, right? So a few weeks ago, I filmed an updated skincare routine. Jen, where's that video? I didn't upload it. I didn't edit it and I didn't upload it because like a week after uploading that video, I realized I actually don't like this cleanser as much as I thought I did. So I went back to my Olive Olay. If you've seen my skincare routine video that I have now, of course I'll link it down below. I'm basically following that same regimen. The only difference is that I'm not using that moisturizer anymore. I loved it, don't get me wrong. I just didn't feel a need to repurchase it. I think it was about, it was between 30 and 40 bucks and I didn't feel as though I needed it. Um, so right now in my skincare regimen, what I am using is argan oil, 100% argan oil, and I absolutely love it. I've been using it for a few months now um, I purchased this one from oh, I thought I still had the the wrapper on I think I got this one from either TJ Maxx or Marshalls because those are my stores TJ Maxx Ross Marshalls a little bit of home goods but those are my stores anyway I absolutely love 100% argan oil on my face I use it after washing I leave my skin a little bit damp I will take it out I mean even I'm not sure if you can really see that but even this is a lot um, so I would just get like maybe a drop or two use the little dropper put it in my hands sometimes I don't even rub it into my fingers or into my hands I just kind of dab it on to my face pat it on and my skin soaks it up I have not had any irritation I have not had a breakout it doesn't leave me greasy I love argan oil on my skin absolutely a lot of people use it on their hair as well which I wouldn't mind um, this container is about $5.99 for two ounces it's a little pricey when you consider some oils like coconut oil or olive oil you get a bigger container um, for that price or a little more so for that reason I wouldn't use it on my hair so much um, but I love it on my face I love it on my skin I can't say enough good things about it actually I can because I did my homework this time so let's see I'm going to pull up some benefits of argan oil so it says that it's rich in vitamin A and vitamin E it packs a lot of antioxidants omega-6 fatty acids omega-3 fatty acids and linoleic acid I hope I said that right um, as I said I believe it's also non comedogenic I do not have any breakouts or irritation with this my skin loves it now shame on me because I am black and I know that we need well regardless of the color that you are um, but I know that I need an SPF so I am NOT encouraging you to only use an oil on your skin. I would encourage for you to use an SPF if you feel that's necessary. I do, I know the dangers of skin cancer. I know the dangers of just, I know that SPF is needed. Um, I know you need some type of sun protection. So that's definitely shame on me for not using that in my skincare regimen. So as I said, I'm not a professional. I'm not a doctor. I can't recommend that you only use this that's what I'm doing um, but like I said it's been working fine for me um, I also find that it's good with discoloration or hyperpigmentation sometimes when I get like a blemish and you know it'll kind of leave like some scarring or it'll be darker than your skin tone for a little bit um, I feel as though it goes away quicker with me using this regimen as opposed to using the moisturizer that I was using it could just be the product that I was using not saying that oil is is better than SPF or titanium dioxide any of those ingredients um, 
but like I said I would encourage you to use this oil in addition to a moisturizer that has SPF has SPF some type of sun protection do as I say not as I do right um, but I am I'm actually dressed now cuz Sephora is having a sale so I'm on my way to go look for moisturizers but that was my little disclaimer I love argan oil I'm gonna leave it at that I use it on my skin after I wash it has taken place of my moisturizer and it's bomb I love it so that's my first favorite and that's gonna stay heavy in my rotation regardless of the summer regardless of the summer regardless of the season summer winter spring fall I am going to be using the argan oil unless it just decides to betray me one day I mean I don't see that happening and I pray that doesn't happen because I love it so much but for right now it's not going anywhere so that's my top fave that's my number one current fave now I've also fallen in love with this mascara called Roller Lash by Benefit. Um, of course, because I don't have the auto zoom, the auto focus, so you can't really see it that well. Um, as always, I'm going to link the products down below so you can go check them out to see where they're purchased. Now, I got this one from Sephora. This is the sample size. I believe it was about $12 or $14. I know it sounds like a lot of money for a tiny mascara. But considering that mascara dries out so quickly, I, a, a beauty guru that I follow on Instagram, she told me this trick and I'm like, you know what, that, that's so true, it's genius. Why would I spend money on a full size mascara knowing that I'm not even going to get through the full tube because it's going to dry out so fast. So ever since she told me that, yes, she individually told me, she was like, hey Jen, <laughs> she didn't. Um, but ever since I saw that tip, I'm like, you know what? I am going to start buying the sample sizes. She specifically recommended this one, and I see why I absolutely love it. Um, I am going to put myself out of focus for a second just so you can see the applicator or the brush for this mascara. Guys, when I tell you it is bomb, let's see. Come on, camera. Don't make me a liar. Let's try to get my face. That's why. There we go. Oh. All right, I'm gonna have to edit in. Maybe if I'm out of the frame. There we go. So, look at, do you see the little pricklies? Now these are going to grip your lashes and help you apply the mascara and it's going to help curl and just, just the entire application process is, there I am. The entire application process is just, it's so much easier and I mean, I don't have long lashes, I don't have full lashes, but it, it definitely helps. Um, so I love this mascara, I love the brush, the way that it's easier to apply to my lashes and I feel like it gives me, it's called Super Curling and Lifting Mascara and I feel as though it does give me a little bit of help because your girl don't have any lashes, okay? I've never even applied falsies myself. I've gotten them applied, like little individual wispies or whatever, but I've never applied lashes myself. I know, the horror, the horror. I'm gonna work on that. But I mean, in the meantime, I have Roller Lash to help me out. It is definitely one of my faves at the moment, and yes, highly recommend it. Speaking of makeup, okay. One of my favorite makeup, I don't even want to call her a makeup guru just because I feel like that title just isn't enough for her. I think she's a beautiful person. Her work is beautiful. She just seems so sweet. She's so talented. Alyssa Ashley. So I was watching one of her videos about how to maintain, not maintain, how to achieve a flawless face. And she recommended this luxury baking banana powder, right? Okay, that's fine. Listen, $8 at Ulta. You cannot beat that. $8. Now, I think I completely underestimated the banana powder and the baking potential for your face. Let me tell you, from someone who has been using translucent powder, Laura Mercier translucent powder, and then I got the, um, the deep coverage as well the deep powder I got that um, as an influencer um, so that was gifted to me going from a translucent powder to a banana powder is a game changer 
I'm gonna stress that. Going from translucent to a banana powder is huge. The biggest difference that I noticed going to a banana powder is that first of all, this is golden. I have golden undertones in my face. So me using something that's translucent or a white isn't doing, I'm sorry, I'm in front of a window and there's like stuff going on. So if you see me looking off, that's what it is. I feel like a crazy person, but going from a powder that's like white to something that is golden is automatically going to complement my face or your face if you have golden undertones that much more it's going to complement your face as far as the the coloring listen i don't know how to contour i'm not the best at highlighting but one thing that i can tell you is that this was one of, one of the best decisions that i've made in my makeup glow up game going from the translucent to the banana now i still like the translucent powder but I did start to notice, you know, after watching her video when she's giving you like the signs of what to look for, what to do, what not to do, I did start to notice that as the day goes on, I didn't necessarily look ashy or chalky, but I didn't look as, as flawless or as put together as I would want to look. Like a little bit of like a cast was left on my face. With this banana powder and this one specifically because this is the only banana powder that i've tried so this is the only one that i can speak to but with this banana powder my skin my face looks like this all day flawless because right now i don't have on any foundation right which is why you can you can see there's a little bit of like there's a not hyperpigmentation but there is like a color differences in my face right now because this is my skin and then i have concealer and the banana powder underneath so you can clearly see that under my eyes my under eye area is lighter and it's a little um smoother it's a little more flawless than the rest of my skin right my skin looks like this all day wherever i apply this powder it looks like that all day i'm not heavy in the baking like i don't sit there and leave it on forever um but i will i'll take my little sponge i'll dip it in the banana powder I'll put it on a few dabs so that it just sits there. So it, I guess it is technically baking while I'm doing my mascara, while I'm doing my edges on my hair, while I'm doing something else. So maybe like a minute or two. After that, I'll take the sponge again and then I'll just dab it in until it just kind of sinks into my skin. So I'm not brushing it away. I'm not um, doing anything too rigorous or too rough. I'm literally taking a little beauty sponge and patting it into my skin wherever I have that can concealer and wherever I have the banana powder. Um, this is a great product, especially for the price. I cannot say enough good things about it. Now, the one thing that I will say, um, and I feel a little like a little bit of a hypocrite to be honest with you, is that it's not really um, aligned with the lifestyle that I'm trying to leave. Get your words, get your words. <laughs> It's not aligned with the lifestyle that I'm trying to live in regards to um, clean beauty or green beauty. Um, it does have two parabens in it. So I just want to be transparent and honest about that. If you are um, along the lines of clean beauty, pure beauty, no parabens, um, no harmful ingredients. It's, it's even embarrassing that I'm saying this. Um, but if that is what you're looking for, this product is not for you. But I love it. It's a great alternative to translucent powder. And until I find something that is along those lines or is cleaner, this is what I'll be using. If you have recommendations for a banana powder that is green, that is all natural, leave it down below because I would love to try it out. Thank you. My last favorite that I'm gonna get into for today is a mask by Tata Harper. Now, I got put on to Tata Harper by, um, what is her Instagram or YouTube name? Alba, Sunkiss Alba, right? She's one of my favorite gurus. I love the fact that she is all for clean, natural, holistic. She's all about green beauty. So she'll give you some great skincare alternatives that are all natural, that are clean, that are green. She'll give you great makeup, hair, lifestyle. If you don't know who I'm talking about, 
I'm gonna need you to get it familiar. I'm gonna need you to get familiar and get it together. Um, I'm gonna tag her information down below, but she's phenomenal. Um, now Tata Harper is a little on the pricey side. I don't have any of their products full size. And this I actually received when I purchased something from Sephora. I cashed out some of my points and I got this sample of a mask. I'm not heavy on mask as much as I probably should be. But when I saw Tata Harper and I saw that I was getting it for the free, I'm like, yes, I want that. Give me one of those. Thank you so much. So I did. Now I haven't used it often just because, as I said, their products are a little pricey. Um, so I want to use it sparingly. But this mask, this, what is this? This mask is so yummy. It's so delicious. I don't have the ingredients list, so I apologize for that. But I can already tell just by smelling it, just by putting it on my face and using it, that it has some rose something in it. Rose oil or rose um, extract. There's something rose in here. Rose is great for your skin. I love rose water, rose oil. I am obsessed with rose and I'm obsessed with skincare. So rose and skincare, rose for your skin, like yes. This mask I've only used once or twice. Um, I put it on, I keep it on for about five, 10 minutes and then I wipe it off of my face and it just gives you like a nice glow. It's just, it's a nice feel, you know, after you wash your face, after you've applied a mask and your face is a little taut, but it's like moisturized and you have a glow. It's, it's a beautiful, sexy feeling, especially if you're just chilling, you're taking a little time for yourself, you're having some me time. I would definitely recommend this product um, so that's it for my current favorites hopefully I will be bringing you guys another favorites video very very soon as always thank you for watching again shoot me some recommendations down below for skincare because as I said I am currently obsessed shoot me some of your favorites because I would love to try out so many things also I am going to be doing probably a life update or a frequently asked questions video. So if you have a preference, if you have any questions, if you have suggestions for future videos, if there's something that you want to see, leave it down below. I love engaging and interacting with you guys and you guys just make me so happy. So thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day. Take some time for yourself. This is what I'm doing right now in my me time. It's Veterans Day tomorrow, so I don't have to work today. Thank the Lord Jesus, I needed this day off. Um, the kids are at school. Nick's at the gym. This is my me time. I'm spending it with you guys because I love you. Um, take some time to be just a little bit selfish. Just a little selfish, if even just for an hour. Just do something for yourself. Make yourself happy. Make yourself smile. Put yourself first today. Just if even for a moment. Get out and walk. Drink your water, take your vitamins, say your prayers, listen to a podcast, watch my video. I love you guys. Bye. Hey guys, before you go, I did just want to update you and let you know that I found a moisturizer. It's the Josie Moran Argan Daily Moisturizer SPF 47 with natural broad spectrum and sun boost ATB. Please, please, please keep your eye out for my product review. This is my favorite moisturizer. Probably the best one that I've used in a very long time. Um, I'll have the information in the links down below. Thanks again for watching. I love you guys. Thank you for all of your support. Have a blessed day.